I'm Molly and I'm watching Fancy Friday. <laughs> You're watching a Fancy Friday film with Mr. Cadu. Yo, Fancy Friday, right about that. You're watching Fancy Friday film. Watching Fancy Friday. I'm watching Fancy Friday film. What up, what up? My name is Joel Ejok and you're watching Fancy Friday. I do fancy. You're watching Fancy Friday film. Stay tuned. Fancy Friday film. Thank you, sir. All right. Bill Simmon, I'm the director of media services here at VCAM, which is Vermont Community Access Media, located in the Media Factory in the south end of Burlington, Vermont. Uh, VCAM is in this building that we call the Media Factory um, along with RETN, the Regional Educational Television Network. And uh, VCAM and RETN together along with a group of community people also run WBTV LP, a brand new low power FM radio station here. So we do TV, radio, filmmaking, audio, video production and post-production. Um, and we are a community center, so we invite the public in to do these things with us. Um, and our mission is to serve the community and to improve the way that people communicate using the tools of digital video and audio. Um, so here in the Media Factory, we have the offices of VCAM and RETN along with a TV studio um, that the public can grab, get access to. We have cameras and microphones and tripods and monitors and cables and lights and all kinds of things that can be signed out by the public. Um, we have a lot of training opportunities here, so um, nonprofit organizations and schools and individuals can come in, learn how to use this gear, go shoot and edit their own non-commercial um, programs. This is, we take the money out of the equation here, so um, if you want to come down and use our stuff, it doesn't cost you uh, anything to do it. Um, it just costs you your time. You have to live locally. That's important. Yet what you produce has to be non-commercial in nature. and. Uh, when you're done, we want it to, you to give it to us so we can play it on our cable TV channels so we can show the rest of the community the great work that you're doing um, in cooperation with VCAM and RETN and the rest of the folks here at the Media Factory. Um, so uh, if you're interested, come on down and check us out. We're at 208 Flynn Avenue in the south end of Burlington. Our facility is open 12 hours a day, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, most days. Um, and uh, there's a lot of opportunities here for the community. Do the community radio station that we're building here at the, at the Media Factory, which is uh, WBTV uh, LP FM, going to be at 99.3 FM. As you can see, Burlington is very blessed with all these different community media opportunities. Um, if you want to express yourself using um, audio or video tools, uh, come on down and uh, get in touch. Uh, the youngest group of students we see here are middle school to high school age. Um, younger students are often interested in video and there are sometimes some summer camps in the area that, pe that younger kids can get involved with. But for people who use VCAM and RATN uh, tools, generally you're looking at middle school and high school age kids on the young side. All through co definitely college uh, students use us a lot. Um, then uh, adults who are out in the world either doing professional development or just have something they want to express or they want to learn some more skills, uh, we get them as well and we get everybody up through um, and including uh, people in their 80s and 90s. And in fact, we will encourage nonprofit organizations to designate um, funds on, uh, uh, to hire staff to actually come in and use our gear to do the nonprofit's media and outreach work for them. Um, so a lot of nonprofits can't afford a, a staff person for that, so they'll do it freelance. They'll do a case by case situation. If you are someone who uh, is is being paid by a nonprofit or an organization to do video work on behalf of them, as long as that video meets all of our other criteria, so it has to be non-commercial, it has to play on the channel before it plays anywhere else, it has to be local, as long and you have to include our VCAM credit on there, as long as it does all those things, then there's a form that you would have that the people who are hiring you fill out. And it says, yes, um, in the case of Kadu, if you know, it, it would say, yes, we understand that VCAM is a, a free service that anyone can use. We're still want it. We still want to hire Kadu to do this thing. We understand that it has to play on VCAM first. We understand that it has to be non-commercial. Blah 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 blah. And once they fill that out, then that relationship is totally fine. We are looking for programmers right now. So if you're interested in getting a slot on WBTVLP um, uh, for the second half of 2017, so July to December 2017, um, their applications are live right now. Just go to uh, 993wbtv.org and you'll see the link to the programmer application. Just fill that out and uh, we'll be reviewing applications in June and doing trainings for the next round of programmers. Um, and we, we've got lots of, lots of slots available on the air for, uh, for uh, 
DJs. So come on down. It doesn't have to be music. It could be talk. It could be anything you want to do, as long as it's you know community related, um, engages with the local community in some way. Uh, generally, we'd love to have you. Yeah. So on the VCAM and RETN side, for the for if you're here using stuff. Yes, there's usually a staff person around. There's always a staff person around, actually, who you can ask questions to. Uh, you can make an appointment if you need a more lengthy sort of training. We can do a, a trainings by appointment, and then we have actually a series of workshops that you can take if you wanted to go to that level as well. On the radio side, we do a bunch of trainings before. If you, if you get a show, before you go on air, we'll, we make you go through a bunch of trainings to kind of get ready. We sh have you shadow another DJ, see what they're doing. Um, and then once you're doing your show, there is a, a phone support. It's not, you wouldn't go to a VCAM staff person, but you, there is a, a, a volunteer phone support tree that you can call for assistance if you need it.